Okay, Saturday, 16th of November, 2024. So Adrian's daily vlog, sharing smart stuff men should know. Psychology Saturday, understand yourself and others better. Curse of knowledge. So this is a very interesting little thing that I subtly realized a long time ago. Curse of knowledge is just because, talks about, just because I know something and take it for this granted and default, I assume that you know it and other people know it as well. The, the mistake is making the assumption that other people know the same thing you know. And that's the curse of knowledge. We have to be careful about this. I guess it's a question of empathy and sympathy. Empathy, I see your pain, and sympathy, your pain's in my heart, so to speak. Meaning, just because we know something, we're assuming other people do as well. And it's worth understanding that when we talk about things, points of view, ideas, concepts, whatever, that we're able to articulate them in a way that anyone and everyone can understand easily with using as few presumptions and assumptions as possible. Starting from a base of, say, first principles. I'm sure I did a video about this as well, actually, about first principles of Elon Musk, something like that. So we have to be careful when we talk about things, not to assume too much, because it's jumping the gun. They might not be able to understand it, they might not know, and yet we're assuming. And that leads to misunderstandings, leads to inefficiencies, leads to problems. Yeah, it depends on how grand and specific the problem is, but still, inefficiencies at least, and we don't want that in general. So when we're talking with people, we want to keep things as simple as possible without being patronizing. That's, that's another nuance and diplomacy right there. And at the same time, knowing the first principles so we can articulate these things easily to them. That way, people can understand us. And also I find that that communication is better and smoother when we have the same starting point, when we have the same understanding. There's less confusion, efficiency again, curse of knowledge. And I subtly realised this 20 odd years ago, 25 odd years ago, where if I say a name or a place, I kind of assume that they know it as well. And obviously they don't, different contexts, different worlds and whatever else. So that was interesting. So you have to be careful about this. A place, name, object, time, you name it, whatever else. And instead, maybe you have to phrase things more subtly. Do you know this? Or what do you know about this? An open-ended question. What are your thoughts on X or Y or Z? This is, this is the Socratic method, actually. That, I think that can help get to the, to, the, to the point of things subtly and easier without assuming too much. Because in life as well, I've, I've suddenly noticed we want to be careful with assumptions. If we assume too much, it can annoy people, basically. It can lead to a little bit of friction. Assuming too much of people, oh, you like this, you like that. No. There's all sorts of specific reasons why someone could be doing something, and by assuming something, you risk pissing them off, basically. So I think the better way is asking open-ended questions to gauge their level of understanding and then wherever they are just approach a little bit above and take it from there because that way you're feeding the information you're you're educating them at the same time as having conversation but at the same time <clears throat> people clearly don't want to be dictated to unsolicited advice that's the phrase which is interesting because generally speaking i don't see what's wrong with it if i'm doing something wrong i want to be known i want to be told and I want to know as fast as possible, as soon as possible. And that comes from unsolicited advice, because curse of knowledge, I don't know what I don't know. Someone out there knows many, or many people out there know many more things than I do. And that can be extremely useful and priceless. Uh, yeah, priceless, but you don't know what you don't know. And unsolicited, unsolicited advice could be extremely useful and powerful in developing and getting ahead and improving in life. But you know, we don't know what we don't know. But that, the curse of knowledge, very important. Sympathy, empathy needed, not assuming too much. Socratic method to ask questions, the right questions. And learning more as well in life, that's powerful. Always be learning, learning and growing. Every single day be a little bit smarter, wiser, faster, or usual buzzwords than yesterday. 
It's like compounding effect. 1% every single day. 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 